Nitric oxide supplements. Do they work and who should take them? Hi, I'm Jillian Poles and I'm a biomedical researcher at NYU Langone Health. Today, I'm gonna to be running through some of the latest evidence on nitric oxide supplementation. So whether you're a clinician deciding whether or not to prescribe it to your patient or a patient deciding whether or not nitric oxide supplementation is for you, I hope this video will be useful. So firstly, what is nitric oxide and what is its role in physiology? Nitric oxide is a naturally occurring compound in our body and it's a really great chemical messenger. So it mainly will regulate our vascular tone and our blood flow, which is really important for overall cardiovascular function, respiratory function, and skeletal muscle contractile function. So our arteries are really important for carrying blood around the body and the blood carries nutrients. So when things go wrong with the arteries, it can impact pretty much any organ system. So for example, when we exercise, we get an expansion of the arteries in our working muscle so that they can get more blood and oxygen that they need. And it just so happens that our friend nitric oxide is a potent local vasodilator. In other words, when nitric oxide is present, those vessels will expand and allow for a lot more blood flow. As we age, our arteries stiffen, which reduces their ability to expand and contract in response to blood flow needs. This causes things like cardiovascular disease and even neurodegenerative disease. So you can imagine that having enough nitric oxide is crucial in maintaining vascular function. Unfortunately, with age, it's been found that nitric oxide availability decreases. So this array of changes in vascular function with age leads to what we call endothelial dysfunction. Another thing that contributes to endothelial dysfunction with age is oxidative stress. And we also know that oxidative stress mediated endothelial Endothelial dysfunction often occurs due to a decrease in nitric oxide availability. All this information together, we know that aging is associated with increases in vascular stiffness, and we also know that it's associated with increases in oxidative stress and decreases in nitric oxide availability. So we can appreciate that with an increase in age, we are subjected to an increased risk of an array of diseases. So knowing what we know about aging, human disease, and nitric oxide, it stands to reason that nitric oxide supplementation may have a protective effect against disease as we age. That's what we're going to investigate today. So there are two ways by which nitric oxide can be synthesized by the body. Nitric oxide synthase dependent and independent. So nitric oxide synthase is exactly what it sounds like, an enzyme that is responsible for synthesizing nitric oxide. So in this nitric oxide dependent system, the nitric oxide helps to oxidize arginine to nitric oxide. Conversely, the nitric oxide independent method relies on precursors such as nitrates and nitrites. So the evidence today is actually going to be surrounding that nitric oxide synthase independent system. Fortunately, Nitrates and nitrites can actually be found naturally in our diet. The vast majority of dietary nitrate and nitrite come from vegetables, and one famous one is the beet. So I'll be running through five different clinical trials that utilize dietary nitrate or nitrite in order to improve metrics of vascular function. I get my information today from a review in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise entitled Dietary Nitrate and Nitric Oxide Metabolism, Mouth, circulation, skeletal muscle, and exercise performance. Today, we'll be focusing on the circulation element of this review. Our first double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial utilized 34 healthy adults ages 50 to 79 years old. They tested the effects of 10 weeks of sodium nitrite supplementation, testing both 80 and 160 milligrams per day to observe whether or not there was a dose response effect. Not only well tolerated among participants, but it also yielded improvements in two metrics of vascular function. The first is brachial flow mediated dilation, which just gets at our vessel's ability to expand and contract in response to increased need for blood flow. The other metric is carotid beta stiffness index, which just tells us the stiffness of this carotid artery. They also found that 160 milligrams per day yielded more beneficial effects than 80 milligrams. In other words, there was indeed a dose response effect. The second clinical trial was similar, once again using sodium nitrite in a group of healthy participants. Uh, this time it was 80 milligrams per day, 
for 12 weeks at an N of 49. And once again, they did find improvements in brachial artery flow mediated dilation. In this clinical trial, the authors also investigated oxidative stress using nitrotyrosine as their marker. And they found a 45% decrease in nitrotyrosine in the sodium nitrite group compared to placebo. Collectively, these two studies tell us that inorganic nitrite supplementation is well tolerated and is beneficial for vascular function and oxidative stress in healthy elderly individuals. So while the first two clinical trials by our authors were conducted in healthy individuals, this review also cites three clinical trials in individuals with cardiovascular pathology. Another thing that's different about these next three clinical trials is that instead of using sodium nitrite, they look at nitrate and they utilize beetroot juice because as we discussed before, beets are super rich in dietary nitrate. Clinical trial number three was conducted in patients with essential hypertension between the ages of 18 and 85 years old. The study featured 68 patients either receiving 250 milliliters of nitrate-rich beetroot juice per day or placebo. In the individuals supplementing with beetroot juice, there was a five-fold increase in plasma nitrate. Once again, the treatment was well tolerated and yielded improvements in vascular function as measured by blood pressure, brachial artery flow mediated dilation, and carotid artery stiffness. Clinical trial number four was conducted in patients with hypercholesterolemia, utilizing 250 milliliters per day of nitrate-rich beet juice at a concentration of six millimoles for six weeks. The study reports a 24% improvement in brachial flow mediated dilation in the individuals receiving beetroot juice, um, a slight improvement in aortic pulse wave velocity compared to placebo, and a small 7.6% decrease in platelet monocyte aggregates at a P of 0.004. And these aggregates are important because their presence is highly associated with the progression of atherosclerosis. Our last clinical trial here was conducted in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Uh, they used 17 patients and a randomized double-blind crossover design. Individuals were given a single dose of 12.5 millimole nitrate beetroot juice versus beetroot placebo not containing nitrate. When patients receiving beetroot juice exercise, they observed an increase in cardiac output and a decrease in systemic vascular resistance. Also in the nitrate-rich beetroot juice, they observed an increase in plasma nitric oxide metabolites, decreased aortic augmentation index, which is another measure of stiffness, and improved mitochondrial oxidative function, indicating improved aerobic metabolism. So what can we take away? Our two trials in healthy individuals showed that inorganic nitrite supplementation using sodium nitrite was well tolerated and successful in improving metrics of cardiovascular function. We can say the same about patients with cardiovascular pathologies, such as heart failure, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. These findings are especially great news when we consider the number of barriers to improving cardiovascular health, such as food deserts or inability to adhere to physical activity regimens. So if you were considering supplementation using dietary nitrite or nitrate, I'd say that the findings point to positive benefits overall. Moral of the story, your mom was right when she said to eat your veggies. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the Group of Health YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and make sure to eat your veggies.